In this video, I will show you how to make this awesome airsoft gun powered by your lungs. It has quick change clips for fast reloading, and for its simplicity, it is quite powerful. It looks a lot like a sniper rifle, and it shoots like a machine gun. I first started with a previous project, my PVC Marshmallow Sniper Rifle. This is a fun toy to have and fairly easy to assemble. I first pulled the connections apart where the blowpipe attaches to the T connector. The T connector is now getting replaced with a four-way connector. This will allow our reloading clips to connect quickly. I will show you how to make those in a moment. Before putting the four-way in place, I first had to roll up some paper and wedge it in the pipe at the front of the stock. This is to prevent any pellets from rolling backwards into the stock. I next measured the length from the front edge of the blowpipe to the end of the barrel. This is about 17 inches. To make this gun work with airsoft pellets, I needed a much smaller tube inside of the PVC. The simplest way is to use a 5 16th inch metal brake line. These can be picked up at your local auto parts store for a few dollars. The 17 inch measurement would make the brake line even with the end of the PVC, but I will be adding a coupling to the end of the barrel, so I use a small pipe cutter to trim the brake line to 18 inches. The brake line needs to be centered in the PVC, so I wrapped it with some paper at the inlet side, which will center it and prevent pellets from finding their way down the side of the barrel. I then carefully wedged the brake line in place from the back. The front of the barrel also needs to be centered by wrapping and wedging some paper between it and the PVC. I thought about using some glue or expanding foam to hold the brake line in place inside the PVC, but that would make it much harder to clean or repair in the future. I love the option for disassembly, so I kept it simple. I then added the coupling at the end of the barrel for that added flare. If you wish, the coupling can be drilled along its sides for an even meaner appearance. I then reassembled the gun with the four-way. With this added connection, I wanted to utilize some quick change clips for fast reloading while in battle. The pocket-sized clips are very simple and can each hold around 150 pellets. For each clip, you will need two end caps, a 45-degree elbow, a 4-inch pipe, and a 1.5-inch pipe. I do recommend gluing all the connections on the clip except for the pipe that connects to the gun. This will prevent the connections from separating and causing a loss of pellets in time while in the field. To load a clip, have the shorter pipe facing up and remove the end cap. Then carefully slide it into the four-way connector and twist it upward. The pellets will slide down the tube into the chamber and are ready to be fired. Now just give a long, hard blow into the mouthpiece and a stream of pellets will fly out of the barrel. If the pellets appear to jam inside the clip or chamber, a quick, hard shake should dislodge any jams and allow for continued firing. Now you can paint your gun any color you would like. This is an awesome and yet very simple way to impress your friends in your backyard or on the airsoft field. If you enjoyed this project, make sure you click the like button and tell us what you think in the comments. We try to put out a video every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Have fun and be safe playing.